The first two places I heard of Hypothesis were one from a colleague that's at an institution that shares our campus. CU Denver shares a, a similar physical campus as MSU Denver. And Rami Kalir um, was using Hypothesis and introduced me to the idea of annotating syllabi and um, really fun things that you could do with Hypothesis early on. And then also LibreText had integrated Hypothesis into their OER resources. And so I ran across it there as well. But it really wasn't until, um, it must have been spring of 2020, so this was the semester that the pandemic unfolded, that I, I had been thinking for over a year that I wanted to switch to using OER in my Biochemistry 2 class. I've been doing that in general chemistry for a long time. Um, but the OER I found, um, Biochemistry Free for All, which is out of Oregon State, uh, huge PDF, like 3,600 pages or more. And I really was having trouble wrapping my head around how to use this resource. And I realized I could chunk it up into short readings and then assign them through hypothesis and give that a go. So I feel very fortunate that I happened to start that practice before the pandemic, because it was one of the things I think really held the class together after we had to move virtually, because the students could continue adding their voice and having those conversations in the margin. Um, so that, that was, my real foray into hypothesis and I've been using it in that class every semester since even adding more assignments. Um, so we have at least two hypothesis assignments a week, sometimes three. And I found it very satisfying because I get to see what the students are thinking about and then I can respond to that in my lecture. So for me, it's become a type of just in time teaching. It helps me see areas that maybe I didn't explain clearly enough in the previous lecture or things that students are especially enthusiastic about for the upcoming lecture. And um, it's really, really been a lot of fun.